Now to CBS 4 News, safety alert and seatbelts are meant, of course, to protect us in car crashes, but for some drivers, they could be harmful. Drivers aged 85 and older are nine times more likely per mile driven to be hurt in a crash. Chest injuries are the most common and they're linked to the seatbelt. As CBS 4's Chris Van Cleve shows us, researchers are learning why one size seatbelts do not fit all. I remember sitting there and my body was just flipping back and forth. Pam Sohn ended up in a neck brace after a Jeep backed into her car. Her seatbelt kept her in the seat, but researchers believe it may have contributed to her concussion and back injuries. Probably would have went through the window or something the way I was moving around had I not had it on, but yeah. Didn't do what I thought it would. The seatbelt Pam and the rest of us use wasn't designed for the 60-year-old's five foot four frame. Professor John Bolte would like to see that change. If a car can drive today without a person controlling it, why can't we have a safety system that, that could respond to better save someone? Bolte is using crash tests like this to study the amount of force needed to protect those with more fragile frames like smaller and older drivers. The goal is to have seat belts that one day automatically adjust to the person they're protecting. It's going to take a lot more force to stop me from going into the steering wheel than it would uh, a grandfather or grandmother. And so that force against my thorax you know, is not going to cause rib fractures in me potentially, but it is perhaps too much force for someone that's a little bit older. Crash tests show how seat belts save lives. The driver at the top of your screen without a belt is launched forward. But when it comes to older drivers in particular, seat belts are also blamed for a higher rate of potentially serious, even deadly chest injuries, as older drivers tend to be more easily injured in a crash. Seatbelts are credited with saving nearly 14,000 lives last year. Researchers say everyone should wear your seatbelt regardless of age or size, but also you want to make sure the seatbelt rests on your shoulder. This area is much stronger than your ribs and have 10 to 12 inches between you and the airbag. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.